Hey there, this is my Bandit review, and boy, this thing be fast. So, the footage on screen is the Bandit hauling log logs in Michigan, and then steel beams in the Kola Peninsula, whatever the map's called. So the first thing you might notice is that the Bandit can be pretty fast, but also pretty thirsty. A 150 litre fuel tank might also be throwing up alarm bells, but not to worry. In the right conditions, your fuel consumption can be just a few litres per minute, you know, uh, for example, in high range on a road, and uh, shifting with plenty of speed. However, with that arrangement off-road, the fuel consumption can be fairly high, so the Michigan footage is using the, the high-range gearbox uh, to show off these capabilities, and the Kola Peninsula will be with the off-road gearbox. As you can see, this is making fairly light work of shifting these long logs. And now I know that Michigan isn't exactly the most challenging terrain, but there are areas of deep mud which will strain the truck, you know, given the load. Speaking of long logs, what cargo can this truck shift? Well, there's lots. So add-on options include flatbed with crane and sideboard bed, maintenance frame, tanker, van body, seismic vibrator, saddle high and low, long logs, and short logs, but not medium logs, and then the ramp towing platform. Lastly, there is a trunk repair supplies, which is a roof rack based fuel and repair pack. I think the first vanilla truck to have this outside of scout trucks, and when I say vanilla, I mean just like not mods. The Bandit can also tow a trailer while using the crane and flatbed, so it's the, it has the fabled combo. Though the truck does have its own unique crane, however, the truck itself is not very heavy at all, so use the crane at your own risk. If you try to crane some metal beams from full extension, then you'll likely end up tipping yourself over, so beware. Tire-wise, not many options exist, but the important ones are there. So you've got Tega tires and chain tires, so that's pretty much all you need. The truck comes with all-wheel drive and diff lock always on, so there's no need to worry about having to switch them on and off depending on the surface, and you can drive at full beans with the diff lock on, which is always a win. Addressing the 150 litre fuel tank, so as part of the roof rack supplies, you get another 140 litres, taking your total up to 290, which isn't actually that much of a bad wrap. So as long as you don't donate any of that fuel to another truck, you'll be fine. As this truck is more than adept at pretty much going anywhere it wants to, being so lightweight, it makes for a great recovery truck, either carrying a tanker, the van body, or the maintenance unit. And so overall, I'm going to rate this truck pretty much 9 out of 10. The only thing missing is medium log carrier, maybe a larger fuel tank, and it's damn fun to drive, and it's flexible AF. So I want to thank you very much for watching. If you found this video useful, then please let me know down below. And if you could give the video a little like, because it really helps the channel out and uh, lets me know if these videos are any good. Cheers and have a great day.